Well, good morning, everybody. Well, today is kind of a cloudy day, but we're heading into fall, and today I decided I want to make a delicious Hershey's chocolate pound cake. It's delicious and wonderful. So what we're going to do is we're going to start adding in the water. You need water. I'm going to adding in two-fourths cup of water. Make sure you have two-fourths and not a quarter because it's just not going to be enough. Two-fourths cup of water. Very important to do that. Let me just dry this off real quick because I don't want to get any water into my cover accidentally. Yeah, pound cake is wonderful. Got its name for a reason, folks. In back when it was invented, everything was a pound of flour, a pound of sugar, a pound of this, a pound of that. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to add in one quarter cup of Hershey's cocoa. This is very unsweetened, kids, so please, I know you kids love chocolate. I know you're getting ready to go back to school, some of you. Most of you are. Don't get any ideas about eating this, kids. You're sure not going to like this. I had an experience many years ago when I was a little girl. My grandmother and I used to bake together, and I wasn't thinking, and I decided to try this. All right, we're going to put this on the open flame. I'm going to cook for a few minutes, and I'm going to start creaming my butter and sugar together, okay? Make sure, folks, you use unsalted butter, and you use two sticks of it. Make sure at all times, folks, it is room temperature. Because you sort of want to have butter that's too hard and it won't come out right now. If you find something in here, like a little piece of wrapper, just rip it off and, and you get rid of it. All right. Let me throw this out. Now, what I want to do now is I want to add in my sugar. I'm adding into my butter mix a cup of and a quarter cup of sugar. Now, I know I have that measuring cup here someplace, folks. Who am going to put that measuring cup? I know I had a measuring cup. One. And one quarter, let me check this again. I want to make sure this is right, folks. One and one quarter cups of uh, sugar. Let me wash this out real quick. I don't want to accidentally get something into the sugar, like cocoa, because it would not taste very good, my sugar. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Now make sure we have this right. One and one fourth cup of sugar. Now, what I want to do now, folks, is I want to cream it together. Folks, this requires a lot of eggs, folks. Four eggs. So we're going to add in one egg at a time, okay? Four eggs. Now, pound cake is wonderful. It's, it's a form of quick bread, folks. But it's, a bit, it's slightly different, folks. I made many pound cakes in my life. In fact, we just got done celebrating International Pound Cake Day. I'm now adding in the cocoa. This is what's going to turn it into chocolate pound cake. One of those days, folks. I'm telling you, it's one of those days. Here we go. Oh, I dropped an egg on the floor before, folks. I'm telling you something. When you drop an egg on the floor, it's about the worst thing to drop. Okay. I'm going to mix the cocoa together in the butter mixture. I need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Vanilla goes great. It gives a zing. You like to have a good zingy taste also when you bake. Please, folks, always use pure vanilla. You don't want to take any imitation. Of the flour. I'm adding in one and one half cups of flour. I'm now adding in my uh, baking powder. You have to have baking powder, so it's not going to go in because it will not rise, folks. I'm adding in a teaspoon of baking powder. Then I have to add in my milk also. One teaspoon of baking powder. Here we go. You just need one bowl. You don't need two bowls for this. Mix. Now adding in two tablespoons of, of whole milk. Okay, folks, my arthritis is killing me today. Okay, mix together. Alright folks, you want to see your batter nice and creamy when you make a delicious pound cake. Now the next thing you have to remember to do folks, please folks, squeeze your, your, your uh, low pin because this will stick. Okay, make sure the sides 
the bottom. Everything is greased in here because you don't want to have to take a chance and all of a sudden it's going to stick. And you don't know, oh, what did I do wrong? You can't get it out. It can happen. All right. Just grease, grease, grease. I have one more thing to add in here, a little dash of flour. Make sure everything is mixed together. Okay. Keep mixing because you want this really like folded in almost. My grandmother Elizabeth made a fantastic pound cake. It was chocolate, also, it was delicious. We use a low pan. Here we go. Oh, folks, it smells delicious. I can't wait to have this later. Oh, it's going to be fantastic snack tonight. One hour in the oven at 350. We have a delicious, wonderful homemade chocolate pound cake. We're getting ready for fall. We're going to start making a lot of wonderful delights again for the fall because now the weather should be cooling down, we hope. We had a very hot, humid summer. Even Amber couldn't take the heat. Neither could my daughter. From Deborah Home Country Kitchen, have a great day. And please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.